Did you know that the global market for medical implants is projected to reach $112.08 billion by 2025? And a significant portion of this growth would be impossible without the use of biomaterials. Biomaterials have become an indispensable part of the medical field, especially in the realm of medical implants. They're the unsung heroes that play a vital role in the functionality and durability of devices like prosthetics, dental implants, and more. Their unique properties allow them to interact with the human body in ways that promote healing and enhance the lifetime of the implants. The projected growth of the medical implants market is a testament to their increasing importance. As technology advances, so does the need for more sophisticated biomaterials that can meet the demands of complex medical procedures and treatments. So, what makes biomaterials so crucial for this field? Let's delve into this fascinating world of science and engineering. Biomaterials, in a nutshell, are substances engineered to interact with biological systems for various medical purposes. Now let's delve a little deeper. Biomaterials are often synthetically derived or naturally occurring materials that are engineered to interact with our bodies, specifically with our biological systems. Imagine them as the unsung heroes, working in the background to ensure the seamless functioning of medical implants. Their properties are what make them so special. These materials are biocompatible, meaning they can coexist with living tissues without causing any adverse reactions. They also possess the strength and durability to withstand the rigorous demands of the human body. Plus, they're corrosion resistant, which is crucial in a complex and varied environment like ours. Interestingly, not all biomaterials are created equal. They come in a variety of forms, each with its own unique characteristics and purposes. There are three main types, metals, ceramics, and polymers. Metals such as stainless steel, titanium, and cobalt chrome alloys are known for their strength and durability. They're commonly used in orthopedic implants, like hip and knee replacements, because they can withstand the stresses of daily movement. Ceramics, on the other hand, are tough, chemically stable, and importantly, they closely resemble the structure of our bones. This makes them ideal for applications like dental implants and bone grafts, Lastly, we have polymers. These are large, complex molecules that are incredibly versatile. They can be designed to be hard as bone or soft as tissue, making them suitable for a wide range of applications, from heart valves to contact lenses. All these different types of biomaterials have one thing in common. They're designed to work harmoniously with the human body to enhance our health and improve our quality of life. Biomaterials in all their variety play a pivotal role in the world of medical implants. But how exactly do they work? The magic of biomaterials lies in their interaction with the human body. It's a dance of science, a waltz of materials and biology, playing out on the grandest stage of all, our bodies. Biomaterials are not just inert substances, sitting idly in our bodies. No, they are active participants, engaging in a complex dialogue with our cells and tissues. This interaction is governed by the principle of biocompatibility, a fancy term that simply means the biomaterial coexists with the body without causing any adverse reactions. You see, our bodies are quite particular about who they let in. Like an exclusive club, they have a strict guest list and anything not on it is swiftly rejected. So, when we introduce a biomaterial, it needs to be on its best behavior, blending in seamlessly with the surrounding tissues. Now, biocompatibility is just the baseline, the entry ticket. The real magic happens when the biomaterial starts to promote healing. It's like having a personal trainer in your body, pushing you, encouraging you, helping you get back on your feet. Let's consider a fractured bone. Our bodies are naturally equipped to heal fractures, but sometimes they need a helping hand. Enter biomaterials. They can provide a scaffold, a structure that the new bone cells can grow on. As the bone heals, the biomaterial gradually dissolves, leaving behind a fully healed, sturdy bone. And then, there are the times when our bodies need a little more than a push, when whole parts need to be replaced. Think hip replacements, dental implants. Here, biomaterials step in as substitutes, mimicking the properties of the original tissue, ensuring that the body continues to function smoothly. In essence, biomaterials are the unsung heroes of medical science. They work quietly, tirelessly, in the shadows, helping our bodies heal, recover, and thrive. They are the architects of healing, the engineers of recovery, the designers of a healthier future. Now that we understand how biomaterials work, let's look at their applications in the realm of medical implants. From prosthetics to dental implants, 
biomaterials have transformed the face of healthcare. This sentence alone is enough to spark curiosity about the scope of biomaterials. So, let's dive into the various applications of these innovative materials in the realm of medical implants. One of the most well-known applications of biomaterials is in the field of prosthetics. You might be familiar with those artificial limbs that allow individuals who've lost a limb, whether due to injury or illness, to regain mobility and independence. Thanks to biomaterials, these prosthetics have become more advanced and comfortable. They are designed to mimic the natural movement and function of the lost limb, and biomaterials play a pivotal role in this. They provide the strength for the prosthetic, match the elasticity of muscles, and even help in reducing friction for smoother movement. In addition to prosthetics, biomaterials have also revolutionized dental implants. Dental implants are essentially artificial tooth roots that provide a strong foundation for fixed or removable replacement teeth. They are typically made of titanium, a biomaterial that is known for its durability and biocompatibility. Titanium easily integrates with bone, making it the material of choice for dental implants. These implants not only restore a person's smile, but also improve oral health by preventing bone loss in the jaw. But the applications of biomaterials don't stop there. They are also used in the production of heart valves, pacemakers, and even contact lenses. Heart valves made from biomaterials can mimic the function of natural valves, regulating the flow of blood in the heart. Pacemakers, which help control abnormal heart rhythms, are often encased in a biomaterial shell to protect them from the body's immune response. Biomaterials used in contact lenses need to be transparent, comfortable, and permeable to oxygen, and they certainly rise to the challenge. Biomaterials also play an essential role in tissue engineering and regenerative medicine. They can serve as scaffolds, providing a platform for cells to grow and form new tissue. This has opened up exciting possibilities in the treatment of a range of conditions, including burns, heart disease, and osteoporosis. From replacing lost body parts to facilitating the body's own healing process, biomaterials have significantly broadened the scope of what's possible in healthcare. They've made implants more effective, more durable, and more in tune with our bodies. They've allowed us to engineer solutions that were once the stuff of science fiction. So what does all this mean for the future of healthcare? Biomaterials have indeed revolutionized medical implants, but what does this mean for the future of healthcare? That's a question we'll explore in the next scene. Stay tuned. The future of biomaterials promises even more exciting advancements in the field of medical implants. Biomaterials are already transforming healthcare as we know it, but what does the future hold for this groundbreaking field? Well, the prospects are as vast and varied as the materials themselves. Let's start with the ongoing research front. Scientists around the globe are constantly exploring new biomaterials and refining the ones we already know. For instance, researchers are developing biomaterials that can mimic the body's own tissues, leading to more effective and natural feeling implants. Imagine a future where a prosthetic limb doesn't just move like a real one, but feels like it too. In the realm of dental implants, the future looks equally bright. Current research is focused on creating biomaterials that can promote faster healing and better integration with the jawbone. This could mean shorter recovery times and longer lasting implants for patients. Biomaterials also hold the key to unlocking the potential of regenerative medicine. Think of materials that can guide the growth of new tissues or even entire organs. We're talking about a future where organ transplants are not dependent on donors, but can be grown in a lab using a patient's own cells. And it's not just in the realm of physical implants. Biomaterials are set to revolutionize drug delivery systems too. Imagine smart implants that can release medication directly where it's needed, when it's needed, and in the exact dosage required. This could lead to more effective treatments with fewer side effects. But it's essential to remember that these advancements are not without their challenges. As we push the boundaries of what's possible, we must also ensure safety, ethical considerations, and accessibility are at the forefront of our minds. As we continue to advance in our understanding and application of biomaterials, the future of medical implants looks brighter than ever. So stay tuned because the world of biomaterials is moving at a breathtaking pace, and it's a journey you don't want to miss.